Okay, so they gave everybody. Girl, I see your face yeah, when I'm going out, you'll be there. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roslyn. If you're new and if you're not, hey y'all. Okay, just a quick thought I had in my head. We're gonna talk about it while I'm on my way to the store. Hopefully y'all don't fall down because y'all just sitting up there. I can't mount y'all up here because my camera be getting hot and it gotta come down real quick. But anyway, I was just thinking because I'm driving you know, probably like 20 miles to get to this grocery store because we ain't got one where I live at. But I remember when I first moved to Dallas, which was in 2006. Um, not really when I first moved to Dallas, but like when I was like, probably still 2006, when I was coming back and forth to Dallas to try to see like where I'm gonna live, if there are any jobs, whatever, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> I remember I had to print out this is before the GPS, y'all. This is before they had it on your phone. I had to print out MapQuest, which was my favorite, which I trusted. Okay, so like I was saying, I had to print out MapQuest because we did not have like navigation on the phone. And like the only thing we had was like if you bought like a, a device or it was already in your car to tell you where to go, like a navigation device, which is irrelevant today. But anyway, I was just thinking, when I was looking at the directions of my phone to get to this store, like I was seriously had like three or like three to five pages worth of directions telling me how to get everywhere. So I remember learning how to get places by like the exits. Like, okay, take the right on 13B, uh, left, and then uh, get back on the highway and take 23C. Like I learned it by the exits. I didn't learn it by the names because when you do a map quest, you being real dangerous <laughs> because you have to shift through them pages. Ain't nobody telling you how to get around, how to do things. And yeah, it was it was still a good time. It was exciting because I came from a small town and when you get to Dallas, you see all the big buildings. But it was scary because you was using that paper to get around the map quest. You had to print it out and like, I don't even know I feel like I didn't even have a computer at my house. Did I have a computer at the time? I don't even feel like I had a computer. The big desktop computers, Apple, what is Apple? Could never, could never have an Apple. But I remember um, like going somewhere to print it out. I don't know if it was at work or at the library. I cannot remember which one, but I just remember that. I was shifting through them papers, trying to find directions to get to Dallas. And if you know Dallas, you know there's a lot of exits, there's a lot of highways. It's just a lot. It's a lot going on. So I, that was so exciting for me, though. Like I was up for the challenge. I was already moving somewhere where I didn't know anything about. Hold on, let me turn. I was already moving to Dallas, which I knew nothing about. So. It was exciting anyway, but I was just thinking, dang, if we would have had, and I'm old, y'all, like I'm in my 30s, if we would have had like directions on our phone telling us turn by turn how to get places, would it have been, would it have been as fun? Would it have been as exciting? I don't think it would have. Cause like the directions are so good nowadays in your phone that you don't even think about it. You just going, you hearing the lady say, make a right, make a left, turn here, turn there, go here, go there. Like, it's pretty much like a, um, ooh, let me turn y'all. You pretty much on autopilot, like at this point, because you know, you just so used to it. But man, coming to a big city, filtering through them papers, you know, and if there was an update, I don't even know how that worked out. Like they had a lot of construction when I moved to Dallas in 2006. And I feel like they had a lot of construction, so, if they had any kind of update on the exits and I missed the exit, it was crazy. Like if I had to turn around, I was just like, now what? <laughs> we only had one highway when I, where I came from. So like trying to maneuver through multiple highways with the paper and the paper is not updating you because it's not electric, you know, it's not, it's not in your phone. It's not, you know, you just gonna have to use your context clues if it's not on the paper. If they changed it up before you printed it out, you was just lost. I just thought that was so funny. 
like just thinking back just driving i was like dang i remember getting on the dallas tollway or getting on the you know probably not the tollway <laughs> But if I did, I probably did end up on the tollway a couple of times because I didn't know what I was doing. But yeah, I thought that was just so interesting how technology has just, I mean, it's only up from here. It's really got like advanced since 2006. It's almost 2026 at this point. But I used to filter through those MapQuest papers. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like, what is Google Map? Never heard of Google Map or anything just MapQuest was I think it was another one but like MapQuest was my favorite like I was really out here using MapQuest to move to Dallas like to get to work and everything y'all like seriously okay anytime I need to get somewhere I will print it out um and like go to go to work I will print it out to um to like go to Walmart because I have to find the Walmart print it out and I didn't even know that it had so many Walmarts like in the area because I probably could have been working when I first moved here I worked at Walmart I probably could have been working at a closer Walmart but you know per MapQuest this was the quickest one was in the next city so you know you have to go by MapQuest but yeah that was just so hilarious to me like that the, the kids these days will never know the excitement of printing out MapQuest and getting lost or finding it or shifting through it like they say don't drive and um don't drive and text and all of that but imagine trying to drive in map quest especially if you don't have nobody over here helping you and then the person that's helping you they ain't they like i don't know read it girl read it if you read it we'll i don't know <laughs> oh i think i'm getting to my destination oh not yet 0.4 miles okay we still got a little bit more time to talk but that was just so funny to me how we was just and by we me I'm I'm in a brand new city the biggest city I ever been in in my life and really map twisting it out here like and you know what if you know Dallas 635 it's always been dangerous it was dangerous then so and it was a lot of construction like if you miss your turn you can end up on any highway that's how dangerous it was. Nobody was rerouting you. If you missed your turn, you gotta hope that you can make a U-turn and get back on the same highway. <laughs> That's how crucial it was. It was real serious, y'all. It was serious, but it was exciting. How old was I in 2006? Let me see, 18, 19, 20? I was 20 years old. So, you know, I would plan out a whole day to like come to Dallas, I would never spend the night. I would just make it like a turnaround trip because I was 20. I ain't had no money. What was I going to stay at? The hotel? Girl, that was gas. Getting back. But yeah, that was just so funny to me. I was driving like I seen Dallas Tollway. I was driving like a far distance. And I was like, you know what? I remember printing out them doing map quest uh, directions. Like that was so... <laughs> Imagine this. Imagine me trying to... Oh, this is the wrong page. Imagine this being the map quest. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, you still got your youth. That's cute. That's real cute. Thank y'all so much for talking with me while I was on my way to the store. We have made it here now. Y'all, I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like, 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 comment, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. the clock and rewind go back to that moment in time when you say you want me for life was it all a lie i gave my all to deserve ya begging on my knees just to show ya you're the one i want and i love ya no 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 lie i miss your touch from your hands and your body it hurts so much to think of you with someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me